What's going on guys? This is David here. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.2 through 9.3.3 using the updated English version of Pangu version 1.1. guys let's go ahead and get started in today's video so first off if you're not on iOS 9.3.3 I will go ahead and put a link in the description below I just made a downgrade tutorial so go ahead and follow that hopefully it still works if you came early enough to this video if it doesn't work anymore if Apple stops signing iOS 9.3.3 then I'm sorry but unfortunately it is what it is you cannot downgrade right now so now we're just gonna go ahead and go to the link in the description below which is en.pangu.io so you're gonna go ahead and go there let's go ahead and do that now all right and once we're here we're gonna go ahead and press download and help and now we're gonna need two things we're gonna need the 1.1 IPA file which you can download right here and then Cydia Impactor and it gives a link to that that link will also be down below in the description and the nice part about this is there is a link for Mac OS 10 Windows and Linux 32 and 64 bit so you can pretty much use this jailbreak on whatever OS version you're running on your computer which is really 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 nice um, that rarely rarely happens um, and it's really cool to see that so now what we're going to do is for the purpose of this tutorial I have both already downloaded so we're going to go ahead and open up Impactor and another thing you're going to want to do and um, I really do suggest this is go ahead and make just like a throwaway Apple ID just one that you can use for this and plug in your device and go ahead and drag the IPA file over to that window and now it'll ask for your Apple ID username and password but don't worry this is safe and secure but in case you do want to worry that's why I said go ahead and make a throwaway Apple ID so if you did make that throwaway Apple ID here is where you would enter in that username and password so once you do that just go ahead and press OK and then once you press OK, it's just going to go through doing this and it will say this or so you're just going to go ahead and press allow. And now it's going to say signing IPA. And then if it works, there we go. There's the Pangu app on our device. So I'm just going to go ahead and move it over to the first page just because I like it being there. So we're going to go ahead and tap on the Pangu app now. But before we do that, we can exit out of Impactor. We can go ahead and close our computer. We don't need the computer anymore. Unplug the device from the computer. All we need is our device. So you can tap on the Pangu app and now it says untrusted developer. So to make that message go away, we can go ahead and go to settings, general, and scroll down to profiles and device management. And next, go ahead and go over to developer app. So it's right there. So here it is, I'm just showing you again. So here it is. And we're just gonna go ahead and press the trust button and then trust again. So now that we actually did that, we can go ahead and back out of the settings app. And now we can go ahead and tap on the Pangu app and it should load up just fine. And now here's the difference between the 1.0 version and the 1.1 version. We have a checkbox that says use embedded certificate effective until April 2017. So before this option in the initial version of the English version of Pangu, it would just give you a simple seven day certificate if you had a free developer account. So if you did not have a paid developer account, if you have a paid developer account, you can sign the app yourself and make it last for longer. But if you had a free developer account, it only lasts seven days and there was no real you know, way to combat that. And it was really just inconvenient. Now we can go ahead and press the start button and now it says tips, please lock screen and wait a few seconds. So now basically at this point you can do what you want. You can toggle your lock screen to see the notification. But for whatever reason, I guess maybe it was just because I was tired when I was doing this, I didn't really think to look at the lock screen. So it doesn't really matter. Um, you can look at your lock screen, you don't have to, but it'll just automatically reboot regardless. So that's what I just waited for. I just waited for it to reboot automatically. So like I said, you guys could do what you want, uh, but you should get a pop-up. Uh, letting you know like a notification on your lock screen letting you know that um, the jailbreak is basically working and it still needs a few minutes to install Cydia so um, I just waited for mine to reboot though you could do either you know whatever you want basically so there it is and wow that was fast 
So now we can just slide to unlock like we did and swipe over and there's Cydia on iOS 9.3.3 using version 1.1 of the Pangu jailbreak. So this is very, very awesome because now, you know, we can actually understand what's going on. This jailbreak seems to be a little bit more stable than the initial one, which is always, you know, great that it's more stable than the original version. And I'm not sure why, but I got this kind of late. Um, it's the Pangu, you know, notifications pop up. So go ahead and press OK if you do see that. For whatever reason, though, I didn't see it initially. But, you know, the app says jailbreak succeeded, which is really, really awesome, which means the jailbreak worked. But what happens if we reboot, you know, is Cydia going to work? What's going to happen? So I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to actually hard reset, hard reboot, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to reboot. And once we come back up... You guys are going to see the Cydia, you know, app is not really going to function properly. It's kind of going to do something weird that if you, you know, haven't really used a semi-tethered jailbreak before and you haven't messed up your jailbreaks in the past, you probably won't really, you know, understand what's going on. So I can slide to unlock, swipe over, tap on Cydia, and oh no, it crashes and I can't do anything about it. I can just keep tapping on Cydia and it keeps crashing. So here's how to fix that. We can go ahead and go inside the Pangu app, hit start, lock the device, and then we can go ahead and just wait for the reboot. And then once we're rebooted, it'll work again, which is awesome. So we're going to go ahead and just wait for the reboot. Or I guess I could say respring too. I'm not sure which it is. I think it might be reboot, it might be respring. I think it's probably respring though, because. It's not um, the initial jailbreak, so it's probably respring. So we're back up at the lock screen, slide to unlock, swipe over, tap on Cydia, and boom. Now we have Cydia working again. It was that easy to do it. So I do just want to show you guys one last thing. So this is very, very important if you use the embedded certificate inside of the app. Go to Settings General, Profiles, and Device Management, and go to this profile, and go ahead and press Trust. The reason why we're doing this is so that we activate the you know, certificate so that way it is valid until April of 2017. So anyway guys, that about does it for this video. Please make sure to slap a like on this video because you will be helping against the haters. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace. Two uploads in a day. Gotta say, I'm actually kind of proud of myself.